Okay, we're long gold here at 11.0704. About 10.05 or so this morning. Target of 11.0304. Further target in gold coming down here. It's like 10.09. 10 call it 1009 10 for now lots of room lots of room to move down right now overnights coming down here it looks like to 11058 <clears throat> Short. Red bar. If I said long, red bar is short. Green line way up here. 11 tenths and change. Got your major support here, uh, major resistance line at 11.09.8. Obviously, we don't want it to get back up there. This last blip down was at 11.09.3. So, we'll see. Now, looking at last week, now that we're uh, sitting here, um, today is uh, Monday, March 29, 2010. We finished the week at 3359 even. We had a $30 win in gold, $24 right here after the commission cost of $6. Forex Factory today, no red reports we got Treasury Secretary Gettner speaking right now. How that's going to play out, who knows? He's, um, what is he talking about today? Yeah, nothing really big. I don't even know what he's talking about today. And looking at this week's calendar, see that we're up at 11.0802 right now. See what's going on. Consumer confidence tomorrow on Tuesday. Wednesday, crude oil inventories. ADP non-farm employment change, kind of precursor. Well, they're going to take, bring out the non-farm employment rate on the 2nd, on Good Friday. That's kind of unusual. Can't remember the any time I've seen that happen. Um, Friday. Usually they wait to bring this out. That's the first time I, in my trading I ever remember them bringing a major report out on Good Friday. Good Friday being April 2nd, I believe, this year. Yep, Good Friday. That's kind of weird seeing that. So maybe there'll be some action on Thursday's trading after all. Maybe not. We'll see. Nothing, nothing really big economically happened this week. Uh, all of it uh, obviously it looks like it's coming down to here. We'll have to see if this is a true place for this to be or not. All right. Let's see what we get. Nine. Nine oh one, two, three, and nope, not yet, but it looks like we're gonna get knocked out here. Eleven oh nine three. We're going to take a $200 hit here. It's the nature of the business here. Got to be willing to take the loss side of this trade if you want to take it on. 
can't cry on your milk if you knock out get knocked out 200 bucks it's the way of, just the way the trade runs sometimes you get hit and you also have a big reward I fight that off now. So close. Why not? Why not fight that off? Come on. Might want to give yourself one more tick here, but I think it's going to run four. It runs five. I'm out. Here. All right, Dave Knight here at Knight Capital Management. Today is March 29, 2010. We had two trades on the day today. We took a gold trade on. We were short 11.07 and four. Stopped out at 11.09. Four took a $200 loss on that trade and that's kind of the double-edged sword of gold and crude oil it rewards uh, handsomely but it also hurts uh, a little bit when you get take out a hit but nature of the business uh, you know looking to win more than you lose and our second and last trade on the day was in the euro we got long at 66 today right here at the 1050 mark at uh, right after 1050 at 1.3466 Market went up to 79, got to break even. We actually got stopped out at break even plus two ticks. At 68 today, no follow through. Obviously, it looked at some of this prior resistance and, and held us out. Also, about the same time, the ES was up against its resistance line and the YM was up against its resistance line. The dollar index was coming back from being down. So it kind of uh, run. I still believe the euro has some strength left in it. Obviously, it ran us out here. Aggressive traders are, can hold a stop down here at 52, hunting for the 94 target. So one or the other comes. A big pocket trader could be able to do that. Uh, so our trading today, one loss, one break even plus two ticks. So if we're looking at two $6 trades, we had $200 loss plus a $25 win. and twelve dollars in commission cost hundred and eighty seven dollar loss today so that's what happens when you trade for big money you have the loss side to contend with as well we look forward to taking on some good trades tomorrow hopefully we can find some good stuff to do on the thirtieth hope you have a good rest of the day we'll see you all tomorrow